Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you guys are watching this. I want to tell you guys something right now. I have never been more excited to make a video than I have been for this one right here. Um, the last video, if you guys remember, if you guys remember, if you saw it, I, I did a ceramic coating on the car. Uh, it looks absolutely glorious. I took a picture of it outside for a before picture. I'll put it up here right now as I'm talking. Um, she looks really, really good. Um, so since it's no longer gonna be a surprise, this video is going to be me installing tire stickers on my tires. Now, if you don't, don't know what that means, um, you know, back in the day when you got tires for your car, you could get like the, the letters um, that say like whatever brand you got, Hankook, Michelin, whatever, they could be in white letters. You can still get them, it's kind of hard to do that anymore, but there's a company called tirestickers.com. There's also other companies that do it as well. Tire stickers is the most famously known one. But they have what's called tire paint, which is what I did these letters here with. I made a video on this a few years ago, and actually this August, which is the month we're in right now, is three years since I did this. And from a distance, it still looks really, really good. Up close, you can tell it's really kind of crackly, and the red here is really starting to come off. Um, I'm going to take all that off today, um, clean the tires. The number one key to this process is prep. Um, you want to get your tires as clean as possible. Um, even if even if your tires are brand new, they still have a lot of gunk on them from the factory. So you got to get that all cleaned off using acetone. Um, I'm gonna, actually going to use some of my tire cleaner first, some of my super clean that I got uh, a few videos back, and uh, and then we're going to finish it with acetone. I'm going to show you guys the whole process. It's going to be a very long day for me. Probably I'm thinking probably about eight hours to do this entire process. Um, so you definitely got to set aside an entire day to do it. Um, today is a Saturday. Uh, my daughter is at camp and my son and my wife are having a, a um, mother son day. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to um, spend my day by myself in the garage doing tire stickers. So bear with me here, folks. Uh, this is my first time ever doing this. I have watched a lot of videos um, from tire stickers, also other people doing it. Um, it's definitely a process, but I think the end result is going to be absolutely epic, and I cannot wait to see how good it looks on my car. So here we go. Uh, we're going to change the looks of this car drastically. Uh, like I said, we're going from the tire paint to the tire stickers that are permanent. Uh, they're guaranteed to last the life of your tire. That's if you do the proper uh, installation and take care of them while they're on your car. So let's get started. Alrighty folks, step one is done. I got the tires and wheels, of course, off the car. They're now sitting out here and I laid them exactly how they were on the car. This is the front, that's the rear, vice versa. Anyways, this is the stuff I'm gonna be using. First thing I'm gonna use is Adam's tire and wheel cleaner. You spray it on and then you use this to clean it off real good. And then I'm also gonna use Super Clean, which is really good to get grease off. If you guys don't know what Super Clean is, I made a video about um, uh, adding the prop rod shocks to my hood. And a, a guy came and gave me a bunch of free stuff. It's pretty cool. So check it out. Um, but what I'm going to do now is just clean the tires as best I can. I'm going to get all of the old paint off. And as you can tell, this, this, this section of the tire here has got like the little grooves in it, like this right here. So I got to make sure I get a, like a little nylon or wire brush to get the grooves out of here. I'm, I'm hoping my, my brush I just showed you guys takes care of that. But if not, we'll, 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 we'll get her done. But I gotta focus on getting this stuff off first and getting this as clean as I can. And then we'll go inside and use the acetone to get it, well, I might do it out here, I don't know. We'll get the acetone and get it completely cleared off. So I'm gonna do this now and uh, I'll be right back. So I cleaned the tires really good with the tire and rubber cleaner and the super clean. And as you can see, the white stayed in there really good. Uh, the G2 that was red came completely off as you can see. But um, I did find out an easy way to get rid of the white. As you can see here, most of it's gone. I just trod this section so it goes from this to this. And what I'm using is a little wire brush. Once I just sprayed it with some super clean and I just took it in like this and it came right out. As you can, it's even doing it right there. You can even see it. Um, but I'm going to do this with acetone now instead of those products because acetone is made to like remove paint. All right, guys, I just want to show you real quick how I'm getting rid of this with this brush. So as you can see here, when I go over it like this, it starts to come out pretty darn easy. It's not difficult at all. And it, it just flakes off pretty nicely. Kind of go both directions. And then I get a towel and kind of get off the excess 
there. Actually pour acetone on this brush and then put it on like this and you can see how it's getting real wet there. And it gets like the rest of the paint that didn't come off just with brushing it. You gotta do this a couple times because a lot, some, then whenever the paint comes off it kind of wants, wants to go back down inside those grooves. But uh, just work at it and you'll get it. I actually have them all done. Except for this one. This is the last one I'm going to do. But I just want to show you guys how I was doing this. Most of you who are doing this job won't be taking off old paint. You'll probably just be starting over brand new. But anyone who did have paint and is taking it off, I just want to show you guys how I'm doing that. I, I'm pretty sure this tire is done. I still have the R3 to do. This is a very long process to get the tire clean. Um, I don't know how well you guys are going to see this. But like if I take my fingernail over like this, like nothing's being picked up at all, which is what you want. You don't want any dirt on the surface at all, especially the surface you're already putting your stickers on. If you know where you're going to put your stickers at, that's the part you want to really focus on the most. Mine are going to take up about this much room. They're an inch and a half, so I want to make sure I have this entire surface clean. And this one here, I think, is, is done. Uh, no, nothing black. It's on my hands at all, um, which is what you want. So this tire is done. we got three more to go. All four tires are done now. They look like very clean, uh, like matte shaded rubber which is what you want guys right, so the next thing you want to do uh before you're before you start getting ready to do your stickers is the little black what do you want to call them nipples that are on your uh, uh tire just lift them up and just cut them flush with the tire the tire stickers company said that you obviously won't get them perfectly flush um, but that little bit of niblet right there is not going to hurt anything. You just want to get you just want to get most of it off. So out where I'm putting my stickers yet, I just wanted to give you guys a real quick video clip on, on what I'm what I'm doing there with that. So that's really simple to do. All right. So when you order your tire stickers, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get whatever you asked for. I I wanted the same thing I already had, just in sticker form. So I have Nitto. Of course, this year came in two separate pieces. I wasn't really expecting that, but whatever. Uh, Nitto five five five, and then I still got the G two in red which is really really i think it's gonna be really cool um it comes with of course your glue um which is completely level full um it also comes with cleaner which is what you use to clean the, the stickers after you have them on your car and you want to keep them clean um some masking tape i'll show you what that's for here in a little bit i didn't realize it came with this cleaner um so i actually bought my another bottle for i think it was 10 bucks i wish i wouldn't have gotten it but oh well and then this is something tire stickers did not recommend but i saw a lot of other people who have done this to their car they had an extra bottle of super glue laying around in case this wasn't enough because depending on how much you put on this might not get you all of your stickers so you want to make sure that you have some extra glue laying around in case you need that uh, and then of course here is the uh instructions but the cleaning solution is this right here you just spray that on like a paper towel and just wipe each letter individually and that's that so that's the instructions. We're going to get started here. First thing you want to do is lay your stickers out um, on your tire to where you think you're going to want them. I'm going to make sure I put them on the same exact spot on all four tires. Um, and like certain things you want to make sure you can always read. Like these are directional tires. So the rotation symbol, I want to make sure I always can see that. So I don't want to put a sticker over top of that. Um, so basically just go around the tire, figure out where you want to put them. And then once you have them where you want them, like let's say you want them right here. You're going to get masking tape and tape it tight to the tire um, and I'll explain to you why you do that here shortly but you, you want to make sure you have them in place where you're going to want them uh, be before you start applying your glue. One thing I forgot to mention is what you want to do is you want to get your scissors and trim off the plastic on the bottom part of the sticker so that you can so you, you can make sure that the bottom of the of the actual emblem, I'm sorry, the sticker is what you're actually putting where you want it on the tire. So kind of make it this, the plastic flush with the actual bottom of your sticker like that. All right, guys, what do you guys think? I have it, I haven't glued anything yet. I just have it laid out the way I want it to look. I think it's gonna look pretty darn awesome. I'm gonna do this first, and then once this is on, then I wanna make sure this is centered with this. We wanna make sure it's not cocked at all. So what you're gonna wanna do is measure from like the farthest point to here, and from the farthest point to here make sure it's the same exact dimension before you go put that on you gonna make sure it's perfectly uh basically parallel to each other whenever it's on the on the car you don't want it to look like this is what i'm trying to say see how how off center that is so you want to make sure you have it right i'm going to do these after i do the bottom so now i'm gonna uh acetone the back like they said to do put these where that where i want them to be 
and then put masking tape just in the center section of like this one on the T on this one and uh, you can pick one of the, one of the two on this one. I'll, sh I'll explain why here very shortly. So I cleaned the back of um, the decals. I just put my fingertip on the rag, dip the um, can over and just on each letter, if whenever each letter, then a new section of the paper towel, each did that with each letter, made sure all these little nipple things were cut off where I'm putting these at. And as you can see here, I taped this down. Now, why do we do this? Simple answer is because whenever you're wanting to do this letter here, you can actually do this and put your adhesive on without it moving its spot on the tire. If this wasn't taped down, then once you've got the glue on it, glue on it, you have to put it back down and make sure you have it lined up where you want it to be. The reason I have two pieces like this is so it's, if you had one, it could still kind of twist back and forth. If you have two, it's not going to do that near as easily. So like on here, I can flip this over, do the five. Once that's down, I can, once that's down, then I can take this off and do the remaining two. But this is to help get the first letter down where you have it laid on your tire. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to start gluing this. I can't lie, I'm, I'm a little uh, anxious about this because my first one I'm gluing on, so this is kind of the last step of make sure that everything is good. So you just take your cap off and you just want to put a nice even layer on. Of course the bigger the letters you get, the more glue you're going to use per letter. Make sure you get it on pretty much all over, especially the edges. The edges where it's going to lift up if you're having problems. Once you have that on like that, oh, then you can just put it down where it's supposed to be and you just simply hold it for about 30 to 40 seconds. As you guys can see here, I'm just holding it down with decent amount of pressure here. This is definitely a long process. I knew it was going to be, but uh, it's, uh, it's um, 1.15 p.m. I started at uh, 10.30. I think I started around 10.30 this morning, and I'm just now getting the first letter on the very first tire. So hopefully it gets done today. If not, I'll have to finish it on Monday. But we'll see. But it's been about 30 seconds now. So... You want to make sure you get it all on all the edge where even with because sometimes when you're tired it's going to be a little um you know it's it's not flat it's kind of radius so you got to make sure you get them all down on the edges here real good i held my my fingers down here on the edges as best i could and everything seems to be staying it's not really popping back up um you'll see here towards the end of this process once we're all done with the tires i'm going to go back around and fill in any gap along the edges that doesn't have glue you want to make sure there's a nice bead of glue along the entire edge that'll keep things from getting in there debris and stuff like that and just keeping a nice tight fit on your edges um so now you can take the tape off of here and this is already glued down so you can just flip the t over for the nt and do the t and let it let it down it is 2 11 so it took me one hour to do this tire which actually i guess isn't too bad um i have three tires left which means around three hours um, which will put it around 5 15 in the evening which gives me plenty of time to get the wheels cleaned back up and get the tires put back on the car but i wanted to show you this um as a visual um <clears throat> i got i actually used tape for this section up here but what i did was I actually put tape like on the tire where, where, where you see this wood at just like that so that's at the very bottom and then what I did was I measured from the end of the wood down to the to the end of this letter and from this end of this wood down to this letter and of course all tires are going to be different my specific setup here um, and it's probably gonna be different for each tire that I do because I'm not gonna get these in the exact same spot but from here to the here was 10 and a half inches and from here to here was 10 and a half inches. So that's how you know that from, from here to here is parallel with that um, piece of wood up there I had. So I used a piece of tape there and then I used the wood down here to, to measure where I needed to be. And that ended up working very, very well for what I needed to do. Um, I want to take a real quick uh, break here just to say to you, I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, but you can do this while your tires and wheels are still on the car. 
I didn't feel comfortable doing that. I felt like it'd be more of a pain and more of a, a backache. Because right here I'm able to stand because I'm here at my uh, toolbox. But I did watch a guy on YouTube um, who did a phenomenal job explaining everything. And he did it while it was on the car. He had the car jacked up just a little bit and was able to spin the tire and do all this stuff. So you can do that if that's what you want to do. I just figured it'd be much easier to get the tire off. Plus it's easier to clean when it's off the car. Uh, and have a nice little workbench here to do everything. Um, I'm one tire in. And you can see the level here is right there is where the glue is. So I, I have more than enough to do the rest. And like I said, you're going to need some extra anyways to go back and fill in all the creases. Now you will see I have some, some white right here that's in the runoff of the glue. That'll clean up with uh, acetone once I'm completely done. Um, but as you can see here, guys, it is completely on the tire. Um, they're all glued now. Everything is good to go. You're supposed to wait 10 minutes before you take off this film. Um, for the top side here, it's been... <laughs> a half an hour and down here it's for like for these have been probably about 10 minutes this one I just did um, I'm gonna give it plenty of time but this is gonna be like my pattern tire I want to make sure that I set my other ones up just like this as you can see my rotation here is still um, easily seen um, where is the tire size also very easily seen it's right there um, so I'm gonna set this tire off to the, off to the side and this is gonna be the tire that I look at to make sure I get the rest of them to look just like this one just want to pull it off very carefully. In some places, there are, it's like you can see it's kind of double layered there. You want to make sure you get all of it off. And what I mean by that is, I'll show you here, like right here. See, this here's a second layer. Now it looks a lot more whiter. It, it did look a lot, like it did look pretty yellow before I took this last piece off here. My gosh, that looks nice. Looks like they all have that double layer, which is which is good. Um, something I did not show you guys in the video, but I'll show you real quick right now. Once I was done holding the pressure, I got a piece of wood, or you can use anything, and I just kind of like pushed very, with some firm pressure on the entire um, decal to make sure it was nice and tight down everywhere and any glue kind of got smeared around. Um, the glue that got oozed out here, I think I did use a little bit too much. Um, nothing I can really do about it now. Um, but from a distance, they're gonna look great and I'll clean up all the white stuff you see of course with acetone later And just like that we have the NT555 G2 Completely uncovered now with the plastic wrap and my gosh guys I hope this looks good in camera, but I doubt it will but this looks freaking awesome. I love it It's awesome. Very very it's it's kind of has like a what well, it's rubber so it, it feels like rubber It's not real smooth, but who cares? looks awesome now I just got to do this side on here I'm gonna wait a little bit longer because it needs to wait 10 minutes but I'll take care of this and we're gonna start the next tire and uh, we got about three hours left just to get the tires done and then of course another hour or so to get everything back together and finish it up so bear with me all right I am currently doing the second tire um, it's going a little faster because I, I was able to look at where these were as far as like on, on the tire like letter wise and then match them up exactly in the same spot. And then I did remeasure just to make sure everything was good. Everything was great. I just wanted to show you a little a little uh, thing I, I realized or found out that makes make things a little easier for you. Like this is the letter N, this is the letter I. What I did was I did the I, and now it's glued. This year's not yet. Then instead of going over and doing this side, I went over to a whole new letter that's not connected to give this a little extra time to dry. Then I was able to do the T and then up to about here um, so now that this is done, now I can go back to this one and remove this tape and then do the end. So you don't always have to do the same like decal, like you don't have to do the whole decal at one time. I, like when I did these up here, I did the N first, then I did one of the fives, then I did the G. Then I went back and did the T, one of the fives, the two, and went back and did the last five. This way you, you kind of give each decal a little bit of time to, to set up and dry while you're going to the next one so you're not interrupting anything by moving any of this film around. Just want to give that a little tip. Uh, like I said, uh, that up there is done. This right here, uh, this is done, this is done. I just got to do this and this and this and then we'll have two tires done and then we just have 50% to go yet. It is uh, 313 so it's been, well it's been another hour since I last filmed I think. I, filmed, I think it was uh, 215 when I filmed, I don't know, it doesn't matter. But uh, it's not bad guys. I have a little fan here because it's extremely hot in here and there's no ventilation. Um, but it's not bad. Uh, it just takes some time. It's a little tedious. You just have to be patient. Do exactly what you need to do. Don't don't try to cut corners because remember this is going to be on your tire spinning at a 120 miles an hour 
all the time, 24 seven. So you don't want this to come off and lose one because, well, that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be uh, satisfying. I just finished my third tire here. It is 4.39 in the evening. I can't believe I've been out here since like 10 and it's 4.39, hard to believe. Anyways, wanted to give you, tell you guys something that's very, very, very important that I did not know. Uh, but whenever I started to do this tire, I found out the first tire I did and the second tire I did were both this side, um, the same rotation. The other two tires are on the opposite side of the car. So they're an opposite rotation. And for some reason, the stuff is not laid out the same. Like all the uh, letters, numbers and stuff. For example, on this tire right here, the G2 uh, ended right here where it says Treadwear 320. And if I were to do that up here, Treadwear 320 is way up here. But the NT555 is right here on the tire. So it's way different. So what I did by accident was I did the both directions the first and now I'm doing the other side. So this here was kind of a whole new learning experience doing the very, like getting it laid out correctly. So now I'm gonna use this tire to do the, the final tire since it has, is the same rotation and it should all match up, we'll see. But uh, very important tip, I wanna let you guys know, uh, it'd be, be a disaster if you went to put it on and everything was cattywampus, that would not be good. 6.05 p.m. and I just got the final tire done and it is sitting down there. Uh, this is the first tire that I did. Now you'll notice some like white residue like inside there. Hopefully you guys are picking this up on the camera. Some down here and then of course some down there and stuff. I was really concerned it was going to be hard to remove but I actually found a very easy way to remove it. Um, and I did it right here and it worked out great. All I'm doing is dipping a Q-tip into some acetone just like that. And then just taking it right over top of where the where the white residue is and it's completely taking it right out completely so I don't know if you're able to see the white stuff on camera honestly but uh, it's taking it right off which is perfect um, and then once I get this done I will clean my uh, letters with with the cleaner it came with but in order to get this residue off now I got to do that so it's going to take quite a while to, to do all that but we're going to keep at it here and get her done. It definitely worked really well. I used about what seven um, q-tips on both sides um, to do one side here but the white residue is completely gone uh, which is perfect. Uh, it looks a lot lot better because if, if you notice like on this one there's a lot of a lot of white stuff uh, beside the letters and if you take acetone once acetone touches it it just completely goes away really really nice so very happy excuse me to see that so you can see a lot of white there but on here completely gone so perfect it depends on how the light hits it of course but it's beautiful so now it's got to do uh, a whole bunch more all right and that only took about I don't know six to ten minutes but as you can see here the white residue is pretty much gone. I don't I don't really see, I mean, just very, very little, maybe, just because I couldn't get the Q-tip in there, but I mean, from afar, this is gonna look so good on the car, I cannot wait. The letters, when you get these letters, um, they, they offer three different sizes, a small, um, a recommended, and then and, uh, the third one is called Maximum, and I actually got the Maximum, they're an inch and a half, I'm high. Um, so they're definitely the biggest you can get for this size tire, but I honestly don't think it's too big. I, I think it's going to look absolutely awesome on a car, and I cannot wait. So I'm going to go ahead and do these other three real quick. It won't take long at all, and let's get these things back on the car. Yeah, before we do that, though, we have to um, fill in. So you see there's a little gap right there, right there. you got to fill that in, and this here in with glue. They, you want to make sure they're, that they're, they're completely sealed up. Um, so I'm going to do that here first, um, anywhere that needs it. The best thing I have seen all day is the fact that this bench is empty. So glad I went through probably 30 Q-tips. We are completely done now, folks. But I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think I should do? Think I should get spacers and make my car look like this all the time? I think it'd be pretty epic, don't you? Look at that nice poke. Mm. Go mudding and whatever you want to do. Just kidding. I'm going to get these tires back on here with lug nuts on and then we're gonna back her out of the garage but unfortunately 
I can't do that tonight because the sun's going down and I want to get a really nice shot of the cars. It's backing out of the garage. I got to wait till the sun is shining. So I will do that tomorrow afternoon. All right, before I do that, I want to let you guys know there is pretty much half a bottle left of glue, uh, which is awesome. This stuff's really, really good. I'm going to keep this for either fixing things if I need to at some point or just use it around the house because it's very, very strong. I got my fingers tied a couple times. You can see the end of my fingertips here kind of covered in it. Um, also, um, I did use the cleaner and I only use about that much of the cleaner. So it's gonna take a long time to use that plus all that. Uh, again, I didn't need to buy that. Um, but now I'm gonna put the, the tires back on the car. Gentlemen, what do you think? <laughs> I am absolutely in love with this. I can't believe how good it looks. I cannot believe how good this thing looks. Oh my gosh. That looks absolutely sick. And for the older folks watching, sick means good, not bad. That, <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know about you guys, but this looks so much better than the paint. The paint's definitely a lot easier, but wow. Um, let's take this thing for a drive and see what it looks like on the road. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute. Don't pull right down the side, PCH got your limit. I don't need a guide, follow lights, take me where I wanna visit. Are you alive? I'll just breathe it. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute. Don't pull right down the side, PCH got your limit. I don't need a guide. Driving at night, windowless ride, feeling alive Nothing in sight, forever in flight Follow those lines, we'll make it this time Blurry street lights, work as a guide To memories that we're making tonight Oh yeah, we'll make it tonight Yeah Not believe how much I love this. I knew I was gonna like it, but I didn't think I was gonna like it this much. I like I was I was standing back here talking to my wife. She's standing like right here, and I'm like looking at the car. I'm like, I cannot believe how good that looks. Like I said, I know there's gonna be some people who don't like it, and that's perfectly fine and very understandable, but I just think this took the car to a whole new level. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how good it looks. Sorry, I'm just uh super Man, I love it. Mm. Sorry, sorry. <sighs> Gotta keep it under control here, Dulop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did. I was extremely excited to make this video. But the paint is much, much easier. And the paint did last me three years. Um, it didn't look the greatest when I took it off, but it was definitely from a, from a distance. And I'll, take, I'll put a picture up right now of a picture I took before I did this just yesterday. And you can see it still looked pretty good from a distance. But um, I'm so happy. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did like this video, check out tirestickers.com. Um, they, they have custom kits you can make, whatever color you want, whatever words you want, whatever letters you want, and they also have just like Nitto kits. I did not get the Nitto kit, I actually got, because if you get Nitto, it just says Nitto on both of them. I got Nitto and then the NT555 G2, and I had to specify in the notes section that I wanted the G2 to have the two, two letters connect like the G2 does, and in red. So you gotta have, you tell them what you want, but they, you, I think you can pay an extra, I think it's $1.99 or $2.99 for them to actually send you a mock-up of what it's gonna look like before they actually start making your order, which I think is well worth the money. Um, they sent me this picture right here on the screen when I got it and I told my wife, I was like, oh my gosh, this looks so much better than I expected. So when I saw that picture, I said, yes, please, fulfill the order, please. It only took about a week to get here. Um, so I am so excited, I hope you guys are too. If you guys did like this video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. If you guys did not like this video, I'm sorry, but 
I ask you please give it a thumbs up anyways. And also, thank you so, so much. Uh, three days ago, I got to 4,000 subscribers, which is unbelievable for me. I got to 3,000 um, last May. So just a little over a year, year and three months, I got 1,000 more to get to 4,000. So thank you so much. Uh, I am going to do another giveaway at 5,000. I did one at 3,000. I'm not the one for four. I will do one for five, and it'll be a little bit bigger than the last one. But again, thank you guys so much. Please subscribe if you haven't. Take care now. See you later. Bye. Oh, I always forget. I always forget at the end of these videos. My next video, um, I, a few of you people said you liked when I was given like some tidbits of information about the next video, so I'm gonna try to keep doing that if I know what the next video is gonna be about. I uh, recently had some um, conversations with a, with a subscriber and he sent me a few videos that he wanted me to see and he said I could, I could feel free to share them if I wanted to. Honestly, uh, the videos meant the world to me. Um, so I wanna share them with you. Uh, and in no way is it me bragging about anything. I just want you guys to see someone else in their Corvette. Um, and I have a big announcement to make about a upcoming Corvette show meetup that um, you guys are invited to. I know a lot of you aren't local, that's fine. Um, the ones that are, um, I'm hoping some of you guys come out. And even if you guys are, a couple hours away, if you guys wanna come out, you can. It is completely free, no charge at all, and there's actually free door prizes. That's all I'm getting. Uh, it's all you're getting at me right now. I will tell you more about it in the next upload, but please, please let me know what you guys think about this, um, good or bad, I don't care. Let me know what you think, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video. See you later.